Leaders in the city of Jeanette have ordered 12 properties demolished after the city determined they were a threat to public safety. Like many former industrial cities, Jeanette has more than its share of blighted structures. KDK's Ross Gadotti talked to city leaders and residents there about the problem and the cost to combat it. Ross. Yeah, we're talking primarily about the southern, southern part of Jeanette, and it's not the only place with blighted or potentially dangerous properties for the people who live here. But city leaders say this is just a start, and there is a long list of residents, buildings, homes that are set to meet the wrecking ball. Nobody's ever comfortable with living next to an abandoned house because you never know what could be in it, um, who's living in it, or anything like that. So. And if there's anyone who should know this, it's Lewis Calloway. He lives next door to a home with a hole in its roof and trees growing out of it with no hope of redemption. Rodents, um, just like raccoons. I seen mice in the back and everything like that. So it's just, it's a problem. Some of these abandoned houses got to go. They got to go. Fortunately for Mr. Calloway, this derelict home on South 11th Street is going to go. It is one of 12 the city gave the order to knock down. The buildings are already derelict and dilapidated and have structural issues. The properties that we know have been outright abandoned or the owners are deceased and there's no next to kin. The city will use part of its $10.4 million in community development block grants earmarked by the county for blight remediation. Our goal is to get at least 50 and as many as 100 properties with this funding. The problem of blighted buildings reared its ugly head recently when two vacant homes were the target of suspicious fires. Interestingly enough, Chief Rice says studies show blight impacts something else none of us can see. A blight and vacant properties actually affect mental health of the people living around it. Meanwhile, Lewis Calloway tells me if Jeanette is looking for someone to drive the bulldozer to level his next door eyesore, he's the man. I'll drive whatever I got to do to knock it down. <laughs> well, this is just uh, one place in all of Westmoreland County, actually Western Pennsylvania, dealing with the same problem. You could go to Manesson, you see the same situation. And like Jeanette, efforts are being made there to try to get rid of this problem. But it's going to take years and millions and millions of dollars. Reporting live in Jeanette Ross, Gennady, KDK News.